The changing nature of warfare means military vehicles need to be increasingly fast and agile. To meet this challenge, Devon-based firm Supercat have taken a car originally designed for extreme motorsport and kitted it out ready for combat. I've come to their test track near Taunton to see it in action. The Wildcat is an impressive beast, weighing in over two and a half tons and with a top speed of 106 miles per hour and a range of 2,000 kilometers on its V8 engine. Originally designed and built by fellow Devon-based firm QT Services, the vehicle offered Supercat a rare opportunity and the company had decided to equip it ready for military service. Most military vehicles now, and if you look to the large vehicle in the background, you can see the SPV 400, which is another one of our products, um, are becoming larger, heavier, um, and as a result more expensive, and that's mainly driven by the protection requirement in theatres in, in theatre of operations such as Afghanistan. Um, we've identified there's a hole below that still to, to have a lightweight, highly mobile platform, and that's where the, the Wildcat comes in. Uh, we perceive that the vehicle could be used in a light strike role um, to be able to get in quickly, have, have an effect, do a small job and come back out again, perhaps for border patrol, particularly in the Middle East, special forces as well, potentially, um, where they've got a, a, a need to get in and move quickly. It's certainly fast, and as I discovered, can take some very bumpy terrain. And there's a good reason for its ability to move at speed over challenging landscapes. The original concept uh, of the Wildcat really is a, as a full-on off-road race car, predominantly built for events like the Dakar and other big long-range rally raid uh, events, where it's proved to be really successful. It's based on a tubular space frame chassis, which gives immense strength but very lightweight and low centre of gravity, giving it superb stability. The capabilities of the car that make it suitable for, for military use crossover really from, from what we're doing from a motorsport perspective. Many of the criteria that we have uh, from, from a race point of view seem to fit naturally with that of uh, defence with some minor modifications and tweaking. So things that the car possesses is extremely long range, uh, it's, got, it's very lightweight so it's air portable, it's got a small footprint, it's very uh, manoeuvrable as well and easy to use and also maintenance in the field is, is uh, very simple. Again all those factors are built in from a race point of view and fall straight out into the, into the uh, defence sector. The base platform is, is largely unchanged, um, it's already able to operate in the harshest of environments, it's well proven in the rally raid environment and competition. Um, and all of those skills and capabilities are cross-transferable into defence. Um, if you want to move quickly in the desert, look to rally raid. Drawing from an existing vehicle meant Supercat already had expertise to call upon for the vehicle. The flexibility of the Wildcat means it can be fitted with a variety of light armour, weapons and communication systems. It can even have air conditioning. For the demonstrator weapon system, Supercat called upon French-owned defence company Thales. Well, this particular weapon is, is a brand new system, it's the Konsberg uh, Superlight system which has uh, recently been procured by the UKMOD and just about to go into service. And we have a ready round bin on there which you can see that particular one has a 600 round capability so that's quite a lot of ammunition uh, for this type of weapon uh, with as I say up to you know 850 rounds per minute is its capability and then and that adds the protection for this type of vehicle so very fast, very mobile with a sting in the tail in terms of it, if it gets engaged it can fire on the move so it's a stabilised system. In its configuration it's quite simple, we've got a screen in the front which you see there uh, and also a thumb controller so we have a hand controller with a thumb controller and, and we have the ability then of traversing the system at speed onto the target. The additional advantage is from an optical perspective we have various optics so at the moment we have a day camera fitted, we have the option of fitting a night camera, we can fit a uh, a spotlight, so a maxi beam spotlight that we can put an IR lens on there uh, and, and from that lens then we can do light, low light operations with the cameras just susceptible to low light. Uh, so you have a, a configuration capability. So yeah, very neat system, uh, very very new to the UK MOD uh, and, and we think, you know, the days of having a soldier stood up top on a pintle now, which is very inaccurate, especially on the move, uh, hopefully coming to an end and we're moving more into stabilised protective weapons. Supercat has only just brought the Wildcat to military market so it's yet to secure any contracts. But the partnership with QT Services and the ballpark aim cost of £250,000 means Supercat hope to be able to roll out production with relative ease.